The erase tool in Luminar Neo allows you to remove unwanted objects from your images. Plus, on top of it, you can also use it to remove power lines and dust spots with one single click. Well, in today's video, we're going to see how to use this tool and how to get the most out of it. OK, OK, so into the Luminar Neo we go where we starting in the catalog module. Now, here are the sample files for today's episode. And by the way, if you want to follow me along and test what I'm going to show you on the actual images, you're more than welcome to jump into the description of this video. Now, follow the link there, download the sample files and let's start. So considering that you have the sample files in the application, let's select the first one and move it into the edit module. It's in the edit module in the main toolbar right here, where we're going to find the erase tool. So one more time, main toolbar, essential section and erase tool. Just like any tool in Luminar Neo, you click on it to open it and use it from here. Now, following the tradition, let's ask my friend Lumibot to tell us more about the Erase tool. Of course, Jakub. The Erase tool in Luminar Neo helps you quickly remove unwanted objects from your photos, like people in the background, power lines, or dust spots. Just brush over what you want to get rid of and click Erase. Luminar takes care of the rest, blending everything naturally using nearby pixels. You can adjust the brush size, undo parts of your selection, or clear it and start fresh. It's a simple and powerful way to clean up your shots in seconds. Now Jakob will show you exactly how it works. But if you ever need help with anything, come and see me at cleverphotographer.com slash Lumabot. I'll be there anytime you need me. Well done, my friend. Very good. So now we know what the Erase tool is for. So let's go ahead and try it. Now we have this image right here. There is a number of elements we could remove. And let's start nice and easy. Let's say just by removing this part right here. Now I zoom in, I use the wheel on my mouse, but you can use Command or Control Plus to do that. And from here, let's move into the tool itself. So we have a select and deselect option. When the select is on, now we controlling the brush and basically just selecting what we want to remove. You see, I'm just brushing over this element to select it so I can remove it. If I make a mistake, I brush here, I can always hit X or X on my keyboard, or I can click on this select here and remove this part, the unwanted selection. I can, of course, make my brush bigger or smaller using the simple slider here. So bigger, uh, just like this right here, or also smaller, Again, deselect and brush right here. Now to control the slider, you can also use bracket keys on your keyboard, just like with any brush in the application. So anyway, now we have the selection. We have selected this white path and we can go ahead and click on erase. By the way, quick tip here, when you're selecting an element, because we're using content aware, you always want to select a little bit more than the actual part you want to remove. This way, everything will blend together. So when you want select, you can just brush a little bit extra. So one more time, when you're happy, just click on Erase. And just like that, that element is gone. Crazy, right? Now, if you don't like it, if you don't like what just happened, you can always click on this little arrow and reset the tool. So let's have a look at it. Puff, our little pole here is back. Now, unfortunately, you have to select it again. However, it doesn't really take that long. Let's just make the brush a little bit bigger. And to speed up the process, what you can do, you can click on the top, hold shift on your keyboard and click again. And this way it will actually connect the one click, one selection with a straight line with the second selection. So click on erase again and it will remove the element. Now, let's say that we're going to continue. Now, don't forget that anytime you move around the screen while you have the brush selected, you just hold space bar on your keyboard so that way you can move around. Otherwise, when I click, it's selecting, it's not moving. So let's go ahead, click on deselect and remove this. Now, let's zoom in a little bit closer, make sure that we on select and just very quickly adjust the size of the brush and select a few of these poles here. Very good. Now we can click on clear and that will remove this entire selection. 
but don't worry, we can again add it back with a few simple clicks. Don't forget, I'm using the shift just to make these straight lines. Once finished with the selection, again, we can click on erase. Poof, just like that, they all away. Now, if I would brush over here and once finished, click on restore rather than erase, what it's gonna do? Well, it's gonna restore the area I have just selected. So that way you can, for example, brush here again. <laughs> now I hope it's here and click on restore again and it will bring back this area here. It will not deform it or anything. It will just bring back whatever was erased there. So what are the options we have here? Erase, which will remove the part, clear, which will remove the selection and restore, which will bring back that selected area. Easy, right? Well, we can, of course, remove much more. So let's just zoom out a little bit further. And let's say that we remove this pole right here. So one click on the top, hold shift, one click on the bottom, and then click on erase. And just like that, the pole is gone. Zooming in, again, we can go quite fast here. Keep selecting the area, just like the pole, perfect. And again, click on erase. That's quite cool. And we can continue. Now, once you get the hint of it, it goes quite fast. What you want to do, you don't want to go too far. You don't want to select everything because it will not do a very good job. So keep selecting smaller areas, just like I'm doing, and just remove them like this. So this is what we're doing, removing these parts, removing these parts, holding a shift if I want to. Again, click on Erase. Now you see here, it didn't do great job. So what we need to do, we need to select smaller area, just like this one here, and just click on erase. And again, at the bottom here, smaller area, and click on erase again. If it keeps going on, just select another part, click on erase, and it will improve. And erase one more time. Great, well, now we can just zoom out and select the power lines. So let's say somewhere around here, and again, somewhere around here. One more time, shift and clicking will connect these lines together. Click on erase and it did very good job. So this way we have removed the area of the power lines here. Let's have a look at it before and after. Not bad, right? It only took us a few seconds. So this is how you use the erase tool on this simple image. However, we have a few more examples. So let's go ahead and select the second photo. This is Kind of nice ruin of old house here in the south of England. Now what we can do, we can jump into the enhanced AI and just increase it. And when we do that, you will notice all the dust spots and sensor dust on the photo, right? Especially in the sky. Now you could, of course, go into the erase tool and select them all individually and start to remove them. Or you can go crazy, click on clear, clear this and click on remove dust spots. Now, this is one of my favorite feature here in the erase tool, because it does happen that you have a sensor dust and you have these little spots. And in the old days, you really had to remove them one by one, where now you can just click on this command. Now, depending on the size of your image, it may take a little while, but it will remove them all in one go. Just like magic, right? Let's have a look at it before and after. Crazy. I love dust spots removal. I think it's great. Well, we also have the remove power lines. So let's go crazy into this image right here. I love this image. Look at that blue hour, nice neon lights. It looks great. But we have all this destruction of the power lines. Now the power line feature works very well, but it really depends on the image. So let's try it right here. Let's go ahead and click on remove power lines. And what the tool is going to do, it will scan the image, look for the power lines and try to remove them. Now, looking at it, it did pretty decent job. Look at it. Let's have a look at it before and after. Unfortunately, it removed some parts which I didn't really need to, like the part of the pole and maybe here. And there is a little bit of shadowing here. But as a first step, this is great. So let's use what we learn and bring back some of these parts. So I think we should keep this part right here. So what we need to do, you should know by now, we're going to click on the top, hold shift, click at the bottom and just click on restore. So that will bring this part back. Now we can take care of the smaller parts in a moment. So let's not worry about this. We also gonna bring back this part of the pole. So again, select it and click on restore and we can fix this later. Now looking at the top, unfortunately, 
I don't think that we can fix this here with this erase tool. We would probably use cloning for it, but you know what? Let's give it a go anyway and see. So bigger brush somewhere around here and brush over the power lines. So I'm thinking like this and click on erase. And actually, it's not bad at all. Wow, I'm really impressed. So we're going to try it here as well. One click, shift, click on the top and click on erase again. And you know what? It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Now, you can still see it a little bit when you zoom out. So again, you could use a clone tool for that. And I will show you how to use clone tool in one of the future episodes. But as I said, as a starting point to really speed up the process, I think this is great. So. This is the erase tool on the top, remove power lines on this image, remove dust spots. And to finish it off, uh, I think the erase tool is also great for removing some of the imperfections on the face or on portrait images. Now, what it works the best on are just a small patches of imperfections. It will not remove your wrinkles and stuff like that because it will look unnatural, but small bits, just like this one right here, it works really well. So just select it and click on erase. Look at that. Again, for example, you wouldn't like this part, so select it and remove it. And you can just keep moving around, around the eye here. So we select this part, click on erase, like magic. So I really wanted to show you this because I think that the, <laughs> that the erase tool is great for this. It's also super fast, so you can really go really fast, select these areas, you know, as long as you're using small brush, selecting what you don't want, and then just click on erase. It only take few seconds. So I think the erase tool is great for portrait photography. And there you have it. So this is how you use erase tool here in Luminar Neo. Now, don't forget that we have a video tutorial for every single tool in this application. So don't stop here continue learning and keep moving forward on your photo editing journey.